something in front of him. Let's take a look at some of these different ways. The first way is the one we've already looked at, right? We saw the boy looking through the magnifying glass at a car. This boy here is using a magnifying glass again to look at, at a butterfly. Magnify. To magnify means to make something look larger. Remember a few lessons ago when we were talking about minerals, I taught you guys magnifying glass. And that's exactly what we're using. Do you remember that word? I'll spell it out for you again. Magnifying glass. And that is a tool that we use to make things look larger. And that is that thing right here. And you can see the word right here, magnify, as part of that word. Magnify to make something larger. Do you have a magnifying glass? If you don't, maybe you should go out and buy one. They're not expensive. Take a look at the things around you. Make them larger. You can see the details of something very well. Very interesting. Okay, let's, let's take another uh, look at another vocabulary word for this lesson heavy. When we're talking about matter, we can describe matter, right? We can give adjectives to describe what is an interesting feature or characteristic of that matter. Heavy means having a lot of weight. It's the opposite of being light. What we see here is that this little weight right here is made of metal. And you see how small it is. Even though it's small, it's magnified here, right? But even though it's small, it weighs a lot because it's made of a heavy metal. And metal, of course, weighs a lot. Even if it's small, it feels heavy. And that, of course, is the opposite of light. Okay, and we have light. Light means having little weight, not heavy. So we have a smaller weight here, right? And it's not as heavy as the previous weight. But of course, different materials have different weights. As I said, metal is very heavy. But a butterfly's wings, those are very light, right? So plastic is light, metal is heavy. So we have these two different adjectives to describe the features of some type of matter, some type of thing. Okay. We, another adjective that we can use when we're talking about observing matter, we can say that we can use the word hard. Hard means not easy to break or bend. This looks like a brick right here, right? <clears throat> it's not easy to break it. However, this brick, it's been cracked, right? It has cracks in it, so maybe that is easy. But if the brick doesn't have any cracks and you hit the brick, don't do this, right? Don't do that. But if you hit the brick, you can't break it, right? Sometimes you see karate champions, you know, they're hitting the brick, they're trying to break it. The reason they're using brick is because it's hard to break. If it was easy, anybody could do it, right? But the karate champions use the brick to show that they're very strong, that it's not easy to break it. So if something is hard, it's not easy to break it or to bend it. To bend it means to, to make it flex so that it's not straight. You bend it. You put a little curve into it. But you can't do that with a brick, right? You can't bend a brick. Okay, well, the opposite of hard is soft. Soft means easy to bend, cut, or fold. So if something is soft, like this nice pillow here, it looks nice, you can sit down on it. Ah, oh, it's very nice to sit on. Your pillow's at your home that you put your head on. Well, of course, if you take your pillow, you can bend it, right? You can make it curved. You can cut it, but don't cut your pillows, okay? Your mom will kill you. Um, or you can fold something, right? When you take cloth or your shirt, you can fold your shirts. It's easy to fold it because it's soft. It's very soft material. Okay. Here we have another word. This is not an adjective to describe something. This is another way that we can observe matter. It's a balance. It's a noun. It's a tool used to find how heavy something is. Remember we talked about hard, uh, sorry, we talked about heavy and light before? We talked about the different weights. We can put these weights on one side and the object we want to weigh on the other side. And because we know the weights of the, we know how much these weights weigh, we can figure out how much something else weighs. So if you put a teddy bear here and you put your weights here, you can find out how much your teddy bear weighs. So a balance is used to find out how heavy something is or how light something is. Okay. 
Now, property is an interesting word. It has a couple of different meanings. Usually when we talk about property, we talk about a house or land. This is my property. But that's not the meaning that we're talking about here. When we talk about property in terms of observing matter, we're talking about anything you learn about an object by using your senses. By the way, property, we can also use another word, characteristic. Character, I know it's a long word, right? Characteristic, but a characteristic is a property. It's something unique or something special about that object. If we say that it is heavy, that is a property of the object. It is a characteristic, a characteristic of that object. Another word, feature. That's a little bit of an easier word. But these words all have similar meanings. Property, characteristic, feature. What is the feature of this object? Oh, I can fold it very easily. What is the property of this object? I can bend it. So these words all have very similar meanings. It's anything we can learn about an object by using our senses. Okay, one uh, thing that uh, we can see about an object, a property of an object, and this is a good example of a type of property, characteristic, or feature of an object, is that it floats. To stay on top of a liquid, uh, that means to float. You see this rubber ducky here. This rubber ducky is light, so it stays on the top of the water. This rubber ducky is not light, it's heavy. Maybe it has some metal in it, so it didn't float. It went to the bottom of the water. So to float is to stay on top of liquid. Let's take a, vid let's take a look at a video of this property, this feature, this characteristic of some types of matter. Look at this. This is really a, a neat uh, video, isn't it? It's cool. All these little rubber duckies are coming around the corner. The water is moving. These rubber duckies are floating on the top of the water. We can see how they are floating. It's a very, very interesting video, isn't it? Lots of little rubber duckies. Maybe you have some rubber duckies at home in your bathtub. When you take a bath, you have the rubber duckies on the water. They float around, right? Very interesting. Now the opposite, before we come back to the same picture, we saw that this rubber ducky is floating, but this rubber ducky is on the bottom. It sank to the bottom. To, to sink means to fall to the bottom of a liquid. To fall to the bottom of a liquid. So this rubber ducky fell down. By the way, I'm saying that kind of quickly, rubber ducky, if you want to know what exactly I'm saying there, rubber ducky rubber duck, right? But I'm just putting a Y on it. It's a duck. It's made of rubber. We call it a rubber ducky, right? So these, it's a duck. It's made of rubber. Usually rubber floats, but if you put metal inside of it, it will sink to the bottom of the water. To fall to the bottom of a liquid is to sink. So we have two opposites, to float, to sink. These are properties of matter. And properties, remember, tell us something about the matter. We can see, we use our senses to find out these properties. We can see that one duck floats, the other duck sinks. Those are properties, to float or to sink. Let's move on. Lesson 13. Observing Matter. Magnify. Magnify means to make something look larger. Heavy. Heavy means having a lot of weight, not light. Light. Light means having little weight, not heavy. Hard. Hard means not easy to break or bend. Soft. Soft means easy to bend, cut, or fold. Balance. A tool used to find how heavy something is. Property. Anything you learn about an object by using your senses. Float. To stay on top of liquid. Sink. To fall to the bottom of liquid.